doing? Again, I am back with another video. I am filming another video in the same night, which is why I still have my same shirt on as my last video, which was by FX Bruises and how to make that. So we're going to try another makeup. And it's a makeup I've never necessarily have done before, so it's going to be very interesting to see how it works and overall the overall appearance of how it will look in the end. So, for this look, we're going to try a zombie look. Now, again, I've never done a zombie look, but we got two wheels. We have a Benai zombie wheel, which we're going to be using. And then we have a Benai death wheel, which I think we could probably use some of these colors in it, such as the green and maybe the gray or the red. One of, the, one of these. Now... I've never done a zombie look before, so this is going to be a completely new thing for me. So we're going to be learning together. <laughs> so I'm thinking we're going to take the lids off of both of these bad boys. And I'm just going to stick my wheel there. Now, this will be interesting because I've never done a zombie before. So I'm not exactly sure how it's going to look, but that's the wheel. That is the death wheel. Isn't it pretty? And then this is the zombie wheel. So we're mainly going to stick to this one. I'm thinking maybe use a mixture of the greens together. So I'm thinking we're going to use that light green in our death wheel we're going to just use this light green color take your clean makeup sponge and we're going to dab it in the color we're going to see how this looks first Ooh, that looks gross it actually does look gross and i'm thinking we're going to pat it all on our face now this is like a muted green this isn't like a a direct green but we're going to see how this looks so we're going to just dab it on our face. This is going to look pretty interesting. This might have been maybe too much green. But that's okay because we're learning together. I should have tucked up my septum for this, but I don't care. So we're going to be learning how to do a zombie together, which I think will be very exciting. And luckily, this won't require as much as like tearing the sponges and and all that stuff like this is just going to be a mixture of blending the colors out on your face and making sure all the colors look decent now i'm going to bring you up close to my face so we're going to get close and personal with sarah's face so i'm gonna i have to get the part of my face that i was missing because I can't see. Give you that like weird zombie green green look I guess we're gonna be going for. Like I said, we're going to be learning how to do this together. I think we need some more. We need more green. I'm going to put you back there. I'm going to take more of my sponge. I'm going to 
that be in my green. This weirdly sickly green color. I'm just gonna go all over my face. I go in the light. Um for my nose. And you know, this isn't gonna be like a hundred percent perfect zombie. Cause to be honest with you guys, this is literally my first zombie look. So we're just gonna we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna wing this together. We're just gonna, you know, wing this out. I don't think that looks too bad, but again, the lighting in my room kind of sucks. So again, okay, we're gonna put you there. We're gonna grab more green. More of this like sickly green color. I'm just gonna, you know. I'm just gonna. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to lay low with the green. Well, that really does look nasty. <laughs> now, because my face is literally all green. It's like a palish. It's like a pale palish type of green so it's definitely going to make you look like you're sick okay so we've had enough with the green I'm thinking for my eyes do I want to use red or do I want to use like a purple I'm thinking like a red but the question is like what red maybe this red this is going to be exciting because I'm not used to this. And this might be a completely different kind of red than what I'm thinking. But. We're going to go with it. So we took this red color on the top. I'm thinking we're just going to go over my eyes with that. This might not be a great zombie look, because again, I'm not good at zombies, but let's be honest here, zombies aren't that pretty anyway, and I look like I'm infected. Might end up adding some purple to that. Looks so, red eyeball. My red infected eyeball. It's weird because my eyes are also like green, so it's like, uh, it's only I'm doing Christmas, but I'm also doing like Halloween on my face. But I'm doing Christmas too because of the green and red contrast. I'm gonna go over my other eye. Well, it's gonna be exciting because I have to close my eyes. Okay. Might add some purple in there, not gonna lie.
Hold on. Okay. I feel like a weird ass rock star. This is not going how I wanted, but again, this is what we do for learning purposes. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go on my bruise wheel. My Ben I bruise wheel. And I'm going to use some of that purple. I really think the purple will help around the eyeballs especially. So let's use some of this purple, see if this works. Um, we're going to do this eye first. I'm going to see how this works with the red. So, complementing the red. That looks a lot better. At least in my opinion it does. This is why we do things together. To learn. That's better. That looks a lot better. And just straight up red. That's so much better. I like how that looks a lot more than just the just red. I'm just gonna go around the eyeball. And then I think this might need a little more purple. It make me look like I'm sick. Like I'm, I'm absolutely sick. Or I'm a zombie, of course. Put more purple around this eyeball. There we go. Okay, so there's that. So we're gonna work on the lips now, and we're gonna put our bruise wheel away because we just needed the. Uh, we basically just needed that purple because that was gonna accent that red of our infected zombie eyeballs. So I'm thinking, what should I do for it? Maybe a light gray? How about this light gray? So I'm going to take this light gray on the bottom, where my finger is, and I'm going to put it over my lips. May I remind you, I never exactly put a cream makeup on my lips before. So this is going to be fun. I just have to get that dead look. I should have used my finger for that because I have to go with my lips in the green. Need the green again. Okay. There I go. Okay. No, I'm not condoning this if my hands are clean. I'm going to take my pointer finger and dip it in the gray. Again, my hands are clean and I sterilize my makeup. And we're just going to take it and put it on our lips. Here's that. Yeah. 
Yes, I did look. Should have flipped up my stuff down for this. Oh well. Okay. Um, it's not horrible, but we need to do something else. I think we need to put something in the hollows of my cheeks. And then. Okay, so we're gonna take, again, my hands are clean, and we're just gonna get out that red. Okay, we're gonna take this dark gray and put it on my finger. So, so, so far we have a green base, we have the red eyes with some purple put on them, we have the gray lips, and I just did some horrible cheek hollowing. I'm not good with contouring, so I just put some dark gray like right here. Sucked in my cheeks and I got them, It's I'm not good at that, so it's going to look like crap. I'm thinking... I'm going to take that same dark gray in the middle, put it on my finger, and we're going to probably stick it right here. And we'll just blend that out. See, you know, and do it right here. And just blend. I'm gonna. I'm just blending that out with my finger. And I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger too. Okay. So so far, that doesn't. It doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look great. But for never doing a zombie makeup look before, it doesn't look horrible. I kind of actually like it. So. Is there anything else that we need for this wheel or this look? I'm thinking maybe a hint of yellow, but not like a bright ass yellow, more like a pale, a pale ye yellow in some spots. Okay. Thinking we're just gonna take a little bit of this yellow right there. And we're just gonna go in certain spots. We're not gonna really have much of a pattern with it. For sure I really need to balance out something. Okay, doesn't look too, too bad for what it is. Okay, so, let's see. So what do we do first? 
So here's the finished look. Um, I'm not sure if I'm feeling it. Because again, this is a new look for me. I've never done a zombie look before. So this is like my first ever zombie look. I think I should have toned it down on the eyeballs a little bit. Because of the straight up red and purple. But let's see. What do we... Let's go over what we did first. So we did this green color. This sickly... Up on my on my leggings. So let's see. Okay. So we took this sickly green color and we put it all over my face, all over our face. So we did that, and then we did the eyes, and we took this this red color on the bottom. And we then put that on our eyes, and then I decided I didn't like the red fully by itself, so I took some purple from my bruise wheel on the top for my fingers, and I put that over the red as well. And then we took some of the gray, put in the hollows of my cheeks, on my forehead. We took some of the light gray, we stuck it over my lips. And we took a little bit of, a, of this icky yellow color, and we just I just decided to dab it in different spots of my face because I thought it would look, I think it would help the look. So overall, this is my zombie look. I know I'm moving the camera back and forth like a lot. I'm trying to figure out what's, what's best. So this is my zombie look. Um, initially, I kind of like it. It's not the best, but you know, we all gotta start somewhere. This was my first ever zombie look. I was glad to record this with you guys. And it's a very quick makeup look if you don't have a plan for Halloween. Or if you want something quick for Halloween. And you and you just have this bunch of these cool makeups to use. Um, I had a couple different inspirations, I guess, for the zombie. I'm going to say I, the Walking Dead zombies because they're kind of like that grayish green color, depending on what zombie it is. And then I I wanted like an infected eyeball zombie, so that's where these eyeballs came. And yeah, and this is the final look. I hope you like this video. Please like it for me. Um, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And I love my creepers. So let's keep this going, creepers. I love my creepers. I'll see you in my next video. And happy Halloween almost. Bye.